When it comes to huckleberries, it's not just about taste. There's also some science involved. Maren Sue spent some time with a biologist who was part of a federal huckleberry program. Who knew there was such a how thing? I get that job. She shows us how to properly harvest the fruit without damaging the future crops. It's Montana's iconic fruit, the huckleberry. I spoke with Tabitha Graves, research ecologist with the U.S. Geological Survey, who works on a special huckleberry project. Basically, we're trying to understand why there are more berries in some places than others and when there are more berries in some places than others. Graves says it all depends on temperature, humidity, and rainfall. She says why Montana has the perfect climate for these berries. Huckleberries in the Northwest are have been here for a long time, and a lot of that is associated with these cooler temperatures that we have um, in general um, and also these wetter environments and so we start to find fewer berry shrubs once we get out into the areas where they're drier and it's hotter. This year's huckleberry growth is average. If you're looking to pick right now, Graves says she's found more berries at lower elevations. Graves suggests that when you're picking the huckleberries, try not to damage the leaves when you're picking them as the leaves are crucial in the berry growing process. When you damage um, leaves of plants in general, um, that's what they use to uh, conduct photosynthesis to feed themselves. Graves says the program will finish data collection within the year. If you're interested in picking in the park, the park allows a quart of berries daily per person for personal use. Graves reminds people to always carry bear spray and be alert at all times while picking. In Glacier National Park, Marin Sioux, MTN News.